What do you like about your teachers? Että mistä asiasta tykkäät? Mm. No, no, vähän niin kuin tulee sekaisin ja mm. minne Sometimes minne we are a little mixed up and funny. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> A couple of years ago we had over 1,000 applicants to my university special teacher program and we took only 30. Wow. 30 out of 1,000? That's right. That's really competitive. The teacher's um, profession has been very highly respected, so I think that's one reason why we can choose who we want to train to be a teacher. And I think we are lucky to have that because then we get the best people to work with children and work with our education. Okay, sitten hei, tulee seuraava ohje. Miksä? Luode. I have been a special education teacher for over 10 years. I support the kids who has unique needs. If you walk around here, you can't see from the outside who needs special education. So this is a mix of uh, three different classes and uh, the class teacher has arranged these groups so that there's different kind of learners, so the children, they practice social skills. And we see that there are two educators here. What are their roles in this particular class? Janika is a special education class teacher and the classroom teacher, I would say he's the boss. <laughs> uh, the special educator consults the teacher. They assess together and they teach together. Usually I will be the one like giving the instructions for the whole class and Janika usually works with smaller groups. We have a time in the, our schedules that when we plan, you're going to do that and I'm going to do that. Yeah. How many special educators are there in this school? Uh, here's eight. Eight? Yeah, in the whole school, yeah. Hmm. So in Singapore, we have what we call allied educators as well, and usually there are about two to an entire school. It so, sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not a lot. <laughs> I have to tell you, it helps a lot to have more special educators. It certainly sounds like that. Kerrataanko, mikä tuolla oli? Mikä tuolla oli? No, Rialta, tu tähän näin. Ja sä oot sanoa aina jonkun ilmansuunnan, ja kaikki muut mennään juostaan. I think the co-teaching gives us more ways to teach. We can group the students flexible and uh, we can use versatile teaching methods together. So what happens when there are differences in opinions of what should be done for the child? Yes, there are, of course. <laughs> uh, in the classroom we stick together. But after the class we can talk like, I didn't like what you did or I had another opinion of, of that. Mm -hmm. But in front of the children we are always together. What do you do when your students have difficulties concentrating? My goal is to integrate them uh, in mainstream classes. So we use headsets and uh, something to do with their hands, like uh, plasticine or something to help them concentrate. Now uh, Mariut is taking them the gym class and um, we take extended um, playtime. Extended playtime helps them to concentrate a little longer.
So we understand that the educators must have high education levels so that they are not only performers, but they also are researchers of their own work. So they can reflect what they are doing and they can develop their own work. It's quite famous that teachers, they have a lot of power to do whatever they want to do. And sometimes also it's possible to modify the curriculum. So what are these children doing here? So it's a science class. Uh, there's a map, this really old map, and it's cut it in the, cut it in the pieces. And it's a puzzle. They need to put it on together. <laughs> We have uh, now an uh, undergraduate program in educational sciences and every teacher they are coming basically to the same programs and they are studying together. So the teamwork and co-teaching that is really very important part of working with, with every children. What are some of the challenges then that the special educator might face working along with a mainstream colleague? The main challenge is still the attitude, I would say. <laughs> because uh, there still might be teachers who want to teach alone, but then they can struggle quite hard because there's different kind of learners. When there's coming another teacher to the classroom, like special education teacher, there's always two teachers who can split the worries <laughs> and uh, enjoy the students' progress together. In that sense, the children would definitely benefit because there's collaborative teaching. Yes, and it works best when, when you get to know the other teacher. When we teach together, we model the collaboration of two adults to the children. We are so fun together in the school. And if nobody has friends, then we are going to go home and then we are going to come with, play with us. Yeah. The whole class, we are helping everybody. Nobody in this school are alone, yes. and we are always together. And what I really picked up was that these educators, whether they are training to be mainstream school teachers or special educators, they need to be trained together. And that's the start of a common vision for the education, isn't it? What I am really looking forward is how can our special educators have a sense of what happens in mainstream schools because ultimately the special educators are preparing these students for the community and they need to have a sense of what their peers are learning. And I think we really need to synergize, we really need to work together but it's not just about saying we're working together, there has to be a mechanism also to allow this to happen but this needs to be a national thing.